called it the bucket list of beer. Adam Rapoport and his thirsty colleagues at GQ magazine have made a list of 50 beers you have to try before you die. It's a little early, but he brought us a half a dozen of the top picks, which we appreciate very much. Very nice. Very nice. How you and, doing, man? And you got to drink them by 9 a.m. here. <laughs> All 50. So get, let's get going. All right. Now, this, uh, this is one of the trends. You know, we saw that like people who drink Blue Moon uh, usually have a, a little slice of orange in the beer. What's this first one? This is an Allagash White from Portland, Maine. It's a wheat beer or a, right. a vice beer, as they say across the pond. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's great for a hot summer day. It's 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 a little bit lower alcohol, a little sweet, a little mm -hmm. easy on the palate, very smooth. What do you think? Lots it's, of, it's terrific. It's easy. It's, it's an easy beer. You often drink yeah. with a lime. I mean, excuse me, a lemon or an orange. Right. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, great hot summer afternoon. That's yeah. the beer you want to be there drinking. There you go. Now, this looks completely different. Look at this. It even has a cork top. It's like a bottle of champagne. Right. Omegang Hennepin from Cooperstown, New York, home of... The Baseball Hall of Fame. Thank you. All right. Very good. Right. This, uh, this beer is a little spicier, a little zestier. It goes great with ethnic foods like Thai food. Kind right. of balances the uh, the uh. acid and whatnot with the food. Wow. Uh, very cool. It pops open. And look at this. Um, look at this. Look at the beer glass. Beer glass. It's like right. it's like a wine glass. Almost. But for beer. I once uh, there was a, there was a great famous old uh, beer expert, a guy named Michael Jackson, and I went to one of those yep. beer festivals yeah. with him. He passed away a couple of years ago, but you did this whole thing. It's like drinking like wine. Get, you do the get nose, the nose. And... Mm -hmm. swirl it around a little bit. Oh, that's good too. That's good. <laughs> that's good too. I have a feeling I'm not going to not like any of them. Beer right? is what's for breakfast. Yeah. All right, Dale's Pale <laughs> Ale uh, from Colorado. Uh, uh -huh. Pale Ale. It's. A, you see a lot of them out there. It's a little hoppier. Hops give you that sort of bitter, right. sour. Yeah. Uh, you know hop, hop, that hoppy flavor when you taste it. Um, <laughs> you know, IPAs, Indian Pale Ale is even a hoppier version of this. Okay. Mm. And it's in a can. How interesting. All right. Can's interesting. A lot of these smaller craft breweries are now brewing in cans. What's great about cans, you take them to barbecues, picnics, uh, where you can't have glass. Also, cans actually beer last longer in cans because you don't get the light doesn't penetrate the oh, bottles. Okay, sure. Uh, so they kind of yeah. stay fresh longer, yeah. which is great. This is really good. Yeah, very good. All right, this one. Uh, Rodenbach Grand Cru, very wine like from Belgium. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, what's cool about this is fruity, but not in an overpowering fruity mm -hmm. way. Fruity in that much more kind of sour, acidic sort of way. Great like for that. food also. Yeah, I don't like that raspberry, mm -hmm. you know, whatever thing that you do. But. It has that very kind of biting, fresh, cut through, uh, kind of re reawakens your palate. Wow. Bring this to, bring this to a dinner party. You don't got to bring Man. wine, Harry. You can bring, no, I you know. can bring beer. That's nutty. That's, uh, that's kind of... That's, Fancy bottle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that one. <laughs> you hold on to that one. All right, now this is a standard because it's right. been around forever, right? Anchor Scene was one of the first beers in America to kind of say, you know what? Do the whole craft beer Listen, thing. I love Budweiser, right. but there's a road beyond Budweiser. Mm -hmm. And this is a lager, like Bud. Right. Uh, it's a little richer flavored, a mm -hmm. little bit more sort of, the color itself has a little bit more depth. Mm. Yeah, like I said, it, this is, I don't, you can call it say gateway beer. It's, it's right. your introduction to this whole right. world of craft. It's a kind of a craft standard. Craft and micro a standard, it, 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 standard of the craft It's been industry. around and it deserves to be around. There Finally, you go. From England, oatmeal yeah. stout. Uh, Beer, beer, like bread in a bottle. Uh, it's like Guinness. I mean, the thing about these, you know, these are much smoother than you think. They go down right. very easy. They're not as rich and hearty as they look. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the brewery is actually right on the road when you're coming in from Heathrow into downtown London. I think it's right there. You've been there once or twice. <laughs> it might be. It might be there. Ooh, smells ah, good. We see some burgers and fries and we'll be, we'll be good. That's really good. Yeah, wow. very easy. Makes me want to run out and buy a GQ. You do that. <laughs> then we would like that very much. <laughs> Adam, always a pleasure to see you. And you can find the list either in GQ or... GQ.com, actually. There you go. On our website as well. There you go. CBSNews.com. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.